Welcome dear students today in this video lecture we are going to discuss about the stream function and its property now we are going to define the stream function so before going to discuss the stream functions let me take a certain assumption so assumption made to define the stream function is the two dimensional flow and incompressible flow means density is constant so that two assumptions as well as the steady flow i am considering now uh, for easy understanding let me take the certain the stream lines we also know the stream line what is the stream line so i am considering the two stream line one i indicated by the psi a and another that i am indicating with the psi b i am considering one point a over here the another point b over here the line of joining between these two is ab and the distance is dx and if i'm taking the projections in parallel to x axis and y axis so this distance is a dx this distance is a dy and let me take the velocity of the fluid is is in this direction so velocity is in this direction so suppose i further I uh, have the velocity component, so velocity is in this direction. So I have these two component of the velocity is that which is one is moving over here in like that. So it is a u that is in parallel to the x directions. V is in the uh, parallel to the y direction. Stream functions can be defined in a two different way. One is stream function is the functions. Uh, or it is a mathematically represent that is it is a functions of uh, f of x and y as well as the time or generally we take as a f of x y and if you do the differentiations with respect to the x direction then it gives the velocity to the y direction suppose i am doing the differentiations of the psi streams or psi functions then it is the dx then it give you the velocity in the y direction and if you do the differentiations of this with respect to y then it will give you the velocity in x direction that is one definitions of the stream functions another definitions is the stream function is a discharge per unit thickness of a flow so that is uh, the another definitions so now we combinedly use to uh, use these two definitions and then we derive the certain relationship or the certain characteristics of the stream functions velocity vector over here which is uh, perpendicular to the ab so this is the ab and it is perpendicular and the component of v is uh, u and uh, v now flow suppose i am considering the discharge or the flow across the ab so here the distance between a and b is the ds so suppose this is the velocity which is coming from this ab point and similarly we have this velocity over here which is a negative means it is in downward direction and in x direction so mass is leaving from here and mass is leaving from so here the velocity is a capital b here it is a u and here it is a v this distance is a dy this distance is dx this distance is dz and perpendicular to plane i consider the thickness is a unit so uh, let me write the expressions the flow across the ab which is given by the psi function so i write that is a d psi for unit thickness because i'm considering the thickness perpendicular to plane is 1 and here we have to write the flow across oa suppose i let me give the name o so i have this oa plus the flow across across ob and here we can write as a flow across ab so for that ab we get velocity is v and the area is ds into 1 just i am writing down the one for easy understanding similarly here we have the u into a dy into 1 because we consider the thickness is 1 plus here the velocity is minus because it is in downward direction so we take a minus into the dx into 1 
So finally, our expression is V into dS equals to U into dy minus V into dX. And we know that the stream function is a uh, discharge per unit thickness. So we get here, it is a D psi, that is a flow between these two stream lines. So we can write as a D psi equals to U into dY minus V into dX. Now further, if I'm doing the integrations, then we can write, this is the integration of d psi, which is equal to the integration of v dy minus integrations u dx. So this is our first expression. And now, suppose uh, I'm doing the, uh, taking the another definitions of psi, that is psi is a function of x and y. And if I'm taking the total derivatives, d psi equals to total derivative means a partial differentiation of del psi by del x into the dx plus del psi by del y into dy. If I compare the previous expression with this expression, then from expression one and two, we get the same thing that v equals to the minus del psi by del x and u equals to the del psi by del y. So what we have defined previously that if you do the differentiation with respect to any coordinate, it gives you the velocity perpendicular to that variables. Means if you do the differentiation with respect to x, you get the velocity in y directions. If you do the differentiation in y, you get the velocity in x direct. We have to write certain characteristics of these stream functions. So there is a three different characteristics are there. First is the stream function is constant along the streamline. Then second is stream function for irrotational flow satisfied the Laplace equation. Third is stream function satisfied the continuity equations. We start with the first. So for the streamline, we know the equation. It is dx by u equals to dy by v equals to dz by w. It is for three dimensions. Now we write it down the streamline for the two dimensions. So it becomes the dx by u dy by v. And if we give the simplifications, we get u into dy minus v into dx equals to z. Here we get this value. And if you remember in previous expression, we have expression over here, u dy minus v dx equals to d psi. So we get the d psi equals to u dy minus v dx. And we get this value is zero. So it indicates d psi is zero. If we do the integrations of this expression, so it gives the d psi equals to zero and implies that we can write that psi equals to certain constant. So from that, we can say that the stream function is constant on the streamline. So this is the justification or the mathematical proof of first stream functions characters for the second mathematically just i write this zeta of z it is del v by del x minus del u by del y so this is a uh, thing where u and v are the velocity components for irrotational flow this value of this it must be equals to zero uh, we know that from the stream functions u equals to u equals to del psi by del y and uh, for v we have this minus of del psi by del x if we put it down the value over here then we get del by del x and v we know that it is minus of del psi by del x and here minus del by del y of del psi 
by del y so finally we get the minus del square psi by del x square that is the second derivative if i taking the minus and common then here we have the del square psi by del y square so this equation is a laplace equation and we can write that del square psi by del x square plus del square psi by del y square which is equals to zero for e rotational flow so we get the stream function is satisfied the laplace equation for e rotational flow now the third the stream function is also satisfied the continuity equations so we write the continuity equations for the two dimensions so it is del u by del x plus del v by del y equals to zero this is the continuity equations so now we put it down the value of u and v from the stream functions in this expression so we get del by del x and u means the del psi by del y plus del by del y of v means the minus del psi by del x and if we give the simplifications then we get del psi by del x del y minus sorry here it is del square psi so del square psi by del x by del y so we get this zero and which says that the it is the stream functions is satisfied the two dimensional continuity equation so students in this way we have discussed about the stream functions thank you for attending this lectures